What is up YouTube? Tommy Shane Smith here from Taipei, Taiwan. Thanks for tuning in today. Today's episode is the start of a brand new segment that I'm really excited about. Um, there are two things that I really, really enjoy about traveling. And on this side, it's trying all the new food, seeing the culture over here is uh, junk food. I love junk food. Where they meet in the middle is at the center point of the Golden Arch, McDonald's. to not take pictures of two different McDonald's. So I've in the very top floor in like the farthest corner with something blocking the camera so I can do this as discreetly as possible. To start, this is the hash brown and Canadian bacon toast. In Taiwan, they've got a bunch of different toast options. Just some basic toast. And it's got on the inside, you see it's hash brown with some mayonnaise and ketchup some Canadian bacon, and some cheese. Verdict? This is good. I really wish American McDonald's would start incorporating the hash brown into more sandwiches. Next up, the chicken muffin with egg. This one's interesting to me because it's like the McMuffin fried chicken patty instead. Look at that. Hmm. It's very heavy. It had a lot of weight to it. Egg, some chicken, it looks like some mayonnaise on it. So let's give it a roll. I can do that. That's quite good. Deciphering a Chinese menu is very difficult. Even though they have the images, you're trying to figure out exactly what is what. And anything fried looks the exact same. They had a special breakfast menu and it had these little fried balls on it. And I was like, well, that looks good. Let's try those. And the woman pointed, she's like, you want these, right? And I'm like, Okay, yeah, I should get them, right? Turns out they were just chicken nuggets. You can get chicken nuggets with breakfast in Taiwan. Also, the sweet and sour, if you're a McDonald's fan, you'd be happy to know is the default sauce. So I wouldn't ask if I wanted anything else, which makes me think they don't even have it. Sorry, I just gotta go back to the hash brown toast really quick. That is, that is really good. So you'd be happy to know that they do have the famous McDonald's hash brown. So this is the McDonald's egg burger with bacon. Like a, oh, it never looks as good as the picture, right? So this is just basically an egg McMuffin, but on a burger. This is way better. Why do we serve McMuffin when we could serve this? Last up on the breakfast course, Smells to be some sort of corn. At McDonald's, they always have like the main courses and they always have like the, hey, do you want to add this too because you're fat and you want to eat a little bit more? And my answer is always yes. It's like a cream corn soup. The cup still says, caution hot. Thank you, crazy frivolous American lawsuit lady. Yes, coffee is hot, we know that. Well, you didn't, but you're a moron. Yeah, it's basically like, the flavor of cream corn with actual corn. You should be able to get breakfast in McDonald's in Taiwan for about three bucks to get a sandwich, a hash brown, and a drink. So, I gotta go walk that off. So I basically ordered one of everything on the menu and the kid behind me in line is just like... Because I'm literally like getting $20 worth of McDonald's in one order for one person. Like my hand is cramping. I'm heading to the park right now so that we can try this all out before it gets cold. Round two, lunchtime. French fries are the exact same. Delicious. This is like an unboxing video. Spicy Chicken McCrispy. Fried chicken, red. That's all it's called. It's called red. And it's cousin, black. A black bun, double cheeseburger. It's like the new limited time thing in Taiwan, so don't expect to get one if you ever come visit. Oh my gosh, there's a squirrel coming to play. No, go away, buddy. No, go. This is mine. I wasn't thinking about this even being a possibility. This is the pork burger. No, go. The receipt, I don't want to lose that. The 
grilled barbecue chicken burger. Finally, one that I'm least looking forward to eating, the shrimp burger, which looks disgusting on the paper. It's like a fried shrimp patty. There's shake shake, a plank of fried chicken, and you shake a seasoning packet into it. It's seaweed and spicy. They gave me exactly two packets of ketchup to go with this whole thing, so. Let's start with the one that's probably gonna taste the worst if it's cold, and that's gonna be the shrimp burger. If it didn't come in this box that says right big on it, shrimp with the shrimp on the side, I wouldn't even have imagined it to be a shrimp sandwich. Fingers crossed, let's get the worst part out of the way. It's not bad, but it's not good either. Oh my gosh, if you look inside, there's a little actual shrimp like peeking its head out. Yeah, see, so there's actually real pieces of shrimp inside the shrimp patty, which somehow they turn into a patty. I'm not happy about it. It wasn't as bad as it looks. The texture inside is too gooey for my taste. This squirrel just really wants. Let's move on to red. This one actually looked the most appetizing to me at it. I said that and I changed my mind as soon as I saw the bottom of the bun here. It just looks like it's probably a diet or whatever, but seeing that on the bottom, it's just kind of strange. I'm guessing it's supposed to be some sort of buffalo chicken sandwich. The bun is definitely not as red as I was expecting. Well, this tastes much better than the shrimp. I could eat all of this. We look, this is what it looks like on the inside. Inside, definitely much more red. I realize it's never gonna be this red. We're gonna go with black now. Some sort of double cheeseburger with a black butt. First impressions, opening this, much better than the red. Once again, once I got it open, I don't necessarily know how I feel about it. <laughs> this looks so bad. So this is a black burger. See the greasy top? It looks just like a mayonnaise top. Big Mac or something with a black bun. Oh, that's not mayonnaise, that's freaking cheese. That's some sort of Swiss cheese. This is a really cheesy burger. There's like two or three different kinds of cheese in here. Look at that, CC. Yeah, real cheesy. I think this is cheese, cheese, and cheese sauce. Pretty good. Now the grilled barbecue chicken burger is next. This one actually is probably the best looking thing I've seen, especially when it comes to comparing the picture to the product received. So this one's just a, a grilled chicken sandwich with the barbecue sauce. Hmm, that's good, that's pretty good. It's a very, very sweet barbecue. Hey, hey, no, 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 go, go. Oh. Spicy grilled burger, that's good. The squirrel bit into the, uh, and he tried to drag the whole sandwich away. The squirrel is easily the same size as this sandwich. We're gonna eat this one, because this one was the one the squirrel clearly had his eyes on. The pork sandwich is just like a McChicken sandwich. It's actually $1.50. Okay, so pork sandwich here. Oh yeah, there's a cheese sauce on it with some crappy iceberg lettuce. That's decent. Two last pieces to finish this out. Spicy Chicken McCrispy. So in McDonald's in Asia, you can actually get fried chicken. They tried to make it happen in America once, but it just never took off. Wow, this is better than KFC. This is not too spicy, but it's just spicy enough. Wow, oh good. The texture is just right. I get that one, it's 10 out of 10. And then finally, we have Shake Shake, which is one of their upselling opportunities. Yes. It gives you this giant, Plank of chicken, and then you put it in the bag. Well, it's already in the bag. And you take a pack of Shake Shake sauce, which is either spicy or seaweed. We're gonna start with spicy. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, don't, don't open that with your teeth. Ooh, oh, spicy powder in my nose. Ooh. Uh, so you oh, close the bag and shake, 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 shake. Now it's sufficiently shake shook, then you just eat it. That's pretty good. The seasoning is good when it's not right in your nose. I'm gonna finish it out, let's do the seaweed. I learned my lesson, I'm not opening this one with my teeth. You wanna see that? It looks like some kind of salt and nori seasoning. 
has a nice green texture to it. Look, it's been shook shook. That's not bad. Pretty good actually. Not an overpowering seaweed, well seasoned. It's a good snack. Spicy Shake Shake is terrible in your nose. The shrimp burger, skip it. The black burger, uh, it's double cheesy, it tells you right there. It wasn't worth the three and some extra dollars. The pork burger is a favorite of squirrels. The fried chicken at McDonald's, very, very good. These were a lot of the unique things that were on the McDonald's menu in Taiwan that I haven't seen anywhere else in the world. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know which of these things you thought looked the best or sounded the worst like this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be doing videos like this from all the places that I visit. So make sure that you follow along and you can stay up to date with all of these random shrimp burgers because who doesn't wanna watch a shrimp burger, right? So uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, I'm gonna catch you very soon. So travel on.